Commotion Pangea. 26 inch wheels, which was one of the boxes that I checked for me because I had these wheels prior to buying this bike. I recently just got back from a trip from Thailand, rode from, took a month, rode from Bangkok to Phuket. Got granola stuck in my teeth. Damn hippie! You ain't a granola! America! We don't take granola! And some of the things I like about the bike obviously the SNS couplers, which makes baggage fees at the airport non existent. Steel frame makes it somewhat springy. I talk about this doesn't have the stock wheels this has salsa gorda rims with white industry hubs this is not a review because I suck at doing reviews what I don't like about this bike are these bar end shifters and these handlebars I don't go low enough I'm not that type of rider I'm not a speed racer man I'm slow I don't get down that no far and I don't know if it's part of the bar end shifters or if it's der uh, derailers themselves but I'm used to clicking and it just go into that gear with this one you have to it's like free flow you just have to keep on I don't know how to describe it yeah screw this let's go smoke some pipes and ride some bikes all right movies check the old or the bag. Helmet. No. Hairspray. Check. Sunglasses. A must. Gross. He doesn't clean his car. He's disgusting. You nasty. Alright. Here we... Yeah. Yeah. Go. Got my pipe. Oh, look, mine ruins. That's a brown body whitehead bird. Alright, All right, took Cummy Steve for a little walk. Get out of there, Marty. Get out of there, buddy. How you been? Need some tobacco. Yeah, McClellan's 5100 Red Tank. I don't know why I like this tobacco so much. It's plain as hell. But little subtleties to it. I just... It's a good all-day smoke. It's all day. You can smoke it all day. You can smoke it in the bathroom. Take smoke it in the car. Smoke it on the way to the bar. Crazy. So, we'll end on a story. Wheel, we will, we, I, I will, I'll. I'll end on a story. <laughs> Jesus. You turn on this thing and you just overanalyze everything. Ah. Gonna take some getting news too. So, uh, when I first got the bike, well, I didn't. It's not like I bought the bike and like, woo, go out for a ride the next day. It's not like, it's like, buy the bike, and wait four or five months for him to make it. 
the building. And, you know, it, that's how it goes. It's a custom-made bike. It's the three pillars of value. <laughs> getting something fast, getting something cheap, and getting something that's quality. If you get all three things on the triangle, it's a value. I did not get the bike fast. I get, did not get the bike cheap. But it's made of quality. Is that a value? No. Very few things in this world are a value. Hmm. Alright, story time. So when I got the bike, I went for a little camping trip and I rode to Glacier National Park. Which isn't far from my home, but... 40 miles or so. So I've had this pipe for about a <laughs> going off tar uh, change in uh what I'm talking about. Um, so I've had this this is a tech and Meerschaum and I've had this pipe for about Yeah, oh, there we go. I ha I've had the pipe for about um about a month, but I smoke it pretty much every day. And I don't do any of that silly, I think it's silly, wearing gloves. Smoking it only only on shag carpeting in case it falls. Uh, wearing gloves. Did I say wearing gloves? Wearing gloves. Not taking it outside for the fear that the temperature change will crack it. I don't do any of that stuff. Beeswax it. You gotta put your beeswax on your pipe, man. No, no, don't do any of it. You smoke it. It's a tool. It changes color. Hooray. I don't smoke my pipe upside down so it changes color. Man, does that sound... That sounds offensive, buddy. Chill. Take it down a notch. If that's your thing, that's your thing. Go for it. Uh, to each his own. To each his own. I will say one thing. If anybody... I'm getting way off target. If anybody... If you're looking to go into a business, these pipe cases, man. I mean, I'm sure it's just not the Meerschaum guys. I'm sure uh, I have briar pipes and stuff that I would love to have one of these cases. I mean, they're just so handy. Okay, that's all I have to say about that. Um, so I rode it to Glacier National Park, and when I got to the park, um, it's kind of high season. And uh, it's high in the tourist season. And so a lot of the in the main campground and I'm trying to think of the name. Anywho. It's the one on Lake McDonald, I can't think of the name of it. But anyway, uh a lot of the spots were already taken, so I was just going around the loops, seeing what was available and uh this guy came up in his van and uh, he's like, hey man, if you can't find a spot, uh, you, you, you can come in. Uh, my spot's more than big enough for me. You, you're more than welcome to take the gravel pad over there. I was like, oh, thanks. He's like, yeah, um, I know what it's like to be homeless. And I was like, I'm not, I'm not homeless, you big dummy. I didn't want to say that. I was thinking that. But I didn't want him, I didn't want him to feel bad about it. So I was like, yeah. I didn't say anything. <laughs> I guess it's one of those cases where not saying anything is better than saying something. Because what I wanted to say was... Well, you heard what I wanted to say. I'm going back in circles. It's like never-ending circles around here. It's, it's a way of life. It's a circle. Follow the triangles. It'll lead you to recycling. But, anyway, that was my little story. Thought I had more to it than that. Yeah. Nah. Just not. Peace.